I built a droid! So I've been making all these multicolored kyber crystals, and I thought to myself, how can I sort these in the most ridiculously overcomplicated way possible. And then I get sent a robot for free, provided that I feature it in a video. Here comes the sponsor build. So I took a break from my other projects and I put it together. All these parts are pre-cut in these acrylic plastic slabs with adhesive backings. The pieces are pretty easy to punch out, but I had to use a marshmallow skewer to get out the tiny little punch holes for the screws and joints. Once I'd done that, I peeled off the backing and began to assemble it. I tried to do this one panel at a time because there are a lot of small parts and I don't want to lose any. I'm actually glad that they sent them still in the thing because that would be a legitimate concern otherwise. I even went so far as to save the little hole punches in a tiny jar. I have no idea what I'm gonna use them for. I don't know, maybe rivets on a retro steampunk lightsaber? I don't really know. Hey, that's something. If any of you have any advice on what I could use these things for, let me know. I was all set to use my own Allen wrenches, but the kit actually came with its own tools, which I thought was pretty cool. This build can be a bit intimidating, but there are detailed instructions on the site, both in picture format and in a very long form video that is not in English. I mean, it's all visual, so you know, I could get it. I recommend scanning through the video first. Honestly, even just reading through the pages of sketches to the end before you start would be a huge help. There's a motor for each axis. I had to sand some of the motor fittings just a little bit in order to get them to slide together. You really don't want to force anything this delicate. I did that as I was screwing one of these fittings together and it snapped. It's acrylic plastic, not vibranium, but I was able to easily reattach it with super glue and one of the many many punch pieces. So it's kind of hard to visualize what you're building until it all goes together, but it helps to think of it like a little crane or even like a human arm. And some of the pull rods are, are like the muscles. The Arduino board was by far the most difficult part of this build. It's actually the main reason why I accepted this sponsored build. This sort of video is a little out of character for me. I get sponsored requests all the time, and if I don't think that they relate to what I do in some way, I'm just not gonna do them. But as a creator, I'm constantly looking to improve and diversify my skills, and I feel that soldering is an area where I fall short. Most of my soldering experience has been in using it as ballast so that my props have a realistic weight. And even then, I rarely rarely do that because if you're gonna ship something to someone, you want it to be as light as possible. So yeah, it's an area where I need to improve on, which is why I did this. Anyway, the kit comes with one complete board and one that you have to assemble. They have to sit on top of each other, so if you do this, make sure that the connections line up. I did have to go back and clean up some of my solder connections to get it to work right. Okay, now for a product review. I think this is a great product if you have a need for this sort of robot. Like, if you're a production designer and you're creating a mad scientist lab setup, perhaps, or if you need simple realistic inner workings that you're gonna redress in like a, a Star Wars type arm. A project that I've wanted to do in the future involves building something kind of like those automobile assembly line robots and I don't want to invest a lot of time and money in that if I have no idea what I'm doing so I figured this would be good practice for that because it's essentially the same type of thing just on a smaller scale. This would also be a great product if you're a robotics enthusiast or a coding enthusiast. It can either be controlled via these knobs on the side or by computer. It does shake a little bit as most robots do so it does need to be locked down. There are extra holes in it specifically for that purpose. I use them to attach it to this piece of scrap wood and that was more than enough. Honestly, I think that might be overkill. You could use clothespins to attach it to a heavy book and that would do the same thing. But I do think it's something that I should mention. I will say that since there is some soldering involved, maybe make sure you have some practice soldering circuit boards before you take on this sort of project. But otherwise, it was a fun little experience. Well, there was this one part left over, but I'm sure it's not important. <laughs> Hey everyone, you'll find links to this product in the description down below. I'm gonna get back to making regular props now. <laughs> regular props. Is anything I do regular? Regular props. All right, that was the sponsored video. I wonder what the next one will be. Drone, please send me an idea builder. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. Jake out.